We were at NASA when we came up with the idea for Planet Labs. We were brainstorming humanitarian and commercial uses of satellites. So we came up with the idea um, in, in 2010 um, and we really left NASA uh, to start this in earnest in early 2012. So this idea of putting up lots of satellites that would be imaging the Earth such that we could image every single point on the Earth's surface every day and that that data set would be really useful for everyone because it would see all the changes around the planet every day. And today satellite imagery is taken every few years and so it's typically out of date. But more up-to-date imagery would help us to do things like take care of deforestation, the ice caps melting, help people improve agricultural yield in developing countries. The satellites we make, we call them doves, first of all, um, which because we believe they have a peaceful mission. But the real uh, significant difference of our satellites is that they're much, much smaller. We've made them really, really compact. They're literally 10 by 10 by 30 centimeters in size. They weigh about four kilograms. And I guess the key innovation here is that we've miniaturized satellites that were the size of a room um, and weighing tons and made them literally like the size of a, a loaf of bread. Uh, we still make more satellites here in our lab in San Francisco than any other people on the planet. The satellites are released into orbit in a couple of different ways. Sometimes they're literally just strapped on the side of the rocket and they get pumped out like a jack-in-the-box. Other times we've ha had rides going to space via the International Space Station like the Dragon capsule on the SpaceX rocket or the Cygnus capsule on the Antares rocket. Those satellites then dock with the space station. The astronauts open the hatch, take the satellites out and into the space station and then they throw them out the window. Well, not quite. Of course, they have to put it through an airlock to go out of the window, but essentially the astronauts throw them out the window. We tend to think of the Earth as static uh, because that's the imagery that we have had access to. But now, as we're collecting imagery that is more frequent, we realize that every time we take a picture of a new place, that there's tremendous change compared with the previous picture. Even if it was only taken 24 hours earlier, we see that fields have evolved, they're more green, or someone's harvested this field. And we literally see that in every picture. So thus far, we have launched 87 satellites uh, on eight different launch vehicles. Our aim point is to have about 150 satellites in a single orbit plane, in a particular orbit that's called a sun-synchronous orbit. It's basically a polar orbit that stays fixed with respect to the sun so that you get constant shadow angles. No matter where you take a picture, you always get the same shadow angles every single day. You can see a tree, but you can't see a person. Our particular undertaking of imaging the whole world every day is unique. We would love there to be more people analyzing our imagery and that's why our goal is to democratize access to it, to enable everyone to access it. So we're gonna put it online on our website so that people can have access to the imagery and start analyzing it themselves. The first thing I would say to a would-be innovator would be pick a problem that actually matters in the world. Now it's time to focus our energies on engineering efforts that help humanity.